Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to install the lower doors on a 2022 Can-Am Maverick X3. So we got these doors from Kemimoto and we're going to be installing both front and rear sets of the doors. So let's get started. So we're in the front seat of our 2022 Can-Am Maverick X3 and the first thing we're going to do here is remove this lower plastic piece of the door to put the new lower door panels on. So you need a T30 and a 10 millimeter wrench and we're just going to loosen both of these and that will take the plastic piece apart. Alright, so we have both of these removed, so now all you have to do is take this plastic piece and pull it back and it snaps right off. So now we're ready to install the lower door on the front right passenger seat. Alright, so here we have our lower door panel from Kemimoto. So we are going to be taking these three, I already took one out, but these three top screws out. And then we're going to be putting them right back in here. And then the door is already coming attached to the frame. So we don't have to do anything with these, they already come assembled like that. So we'll take this out. And the door is going to line up, there's three holes in here. So there's one, two, and then the third one's up there line up right there just like this and then we'll reattach these all right so we've got our buddy John here he's gonna help with this part so I can hold the lower panel in so we're just putting each of the three screws back in with the nut back on the bottom just to hold the door in place for right now and then we'll slide it around and move it back and forth as we need to depending on how it sits Alright, so we're going to use a T20 to snug up the nut on each of the three screws. So we have all three of these tightened down now. So there is a little bit of wiggle room if you need to adjust the lower door depending on how it sits on the side by side. But we got it centered exactly how we want, so this is how it looks. So now that we have this door on, we're going to repeat the exact same process on the driver's side of the vehicle. And then next we're going to be showing you how to do the back doors. Alright, so we are on the back doors now. So the first thing we're going to do is drill out the three rivets. And a very common question is, do they come with rivets? And they do not give you any rivets, so you have to supply your own when putting this back on afterwards. So we're going to start drilling these three out and go from there. So now that the three rivets are off, we're going to take this panel off and then we'll start assembling the door. So this part just slides right out through there. So remember to put that back in when you reattach it. So before we assemble the lower rear doors, we're going to take this plastic piece off, which is the same as what we did on the front doors. So instead of showing you that over again, just watch that portion of the video or just do exactly what you did in the front. So with the rear lower doors, Kemimoto has a clip that comes with the set. Um, so that clip here is going to go on this piece on the door. So we're just going to take this and slide it right over it. Pop on like that. Alright, so now we're going to be taking these to reattach the lower door to the upper portion of the door. But one thing that's different from the front doors is this right here. So this is that piece that we put the clip on. That is going to slide under just like this. And we're going to put a screw right through here. Otherwise, we're going to put one on here and one on here, and then we're going to start wiggling the door around to line it up correctly. Now that we have the lower door loosely attached, we've got these already connected here. 
So this will take a little bit of wiggling to get it to line up correctly, but there's already a clip that comes on the Can-Am door. So make sure you line it up correctly with that clip for this spot. So we've got it adjusted. Make sure you slide it around to get it lined up correctly with this curve in the door right here. And then get everything nice and snug. So now that we have the lower panel attached and everything tightened down, all that's left is to put this back on. So you're going to take the latch piece and slide it back through here. And this will just cover this and snap on like that for right now. And then we're going to put new rivets inside which are not included in the kit.